Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CBO Daylong, a uh, collegiate daylong tournament where you get about 20 free boards of bridge a day, 8 normal bridge, and then 12 just declare. It switches between imps and match points every day. And if you are interested in getting in on all this action of the 20 free boards of bridge a day, you can just go down into the description and uh, click that link. And um, if you fill out the information form, then immediately within 24 hours, you will be on the list and you can join in on all this fun. More bridge, the more bridge, the better, right? So um, today, uh, and you can find it in your free tournaments once you're registered. So today, uh, it looks like we are doing a match point one. Last week went pretty okay. It wasn't anything amazing, but it was it was good. We had we had one board that kind of kept us down. You know, that that's just kind of how the game works. You <laughs> you know, you get one bad board, and then especially in imps, especially in imps, because last week it was imps. All right, so uh, let's let's get into this one. Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, so board number one, we are starting off with a fairly decent hand. We've got 16 high card points. We don't really like our queen singleton of clubs. That doesn't look very fun, but we're going to start with one spade. We've got a pretty easy rebid of two hearts. But the question is, do we want to bid two hearts here? Are we strong enough to bid two hearts here? The two diamonds bid isn't something that we particularly like. Uh, we have short clubs. I mean, and, and I'm pretty sure bidding here uh, shows... Nah, it actually doesn't show too much extra. Hmm. According to the robots. But, you know, it's like after partners already passed and then passed again, they probably... They might not just have support for us and they can't they can't bid a club suit, which I'm afraid that they do have a club suit here. Um, and they almost certainly don't have three spades if they have a somewhat decent hand. Um, and, you know, West here could just have a bunch of a bunch of points, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous in these situations about bidding again because it could open up the bidding for West. But then again, East has very, very little high card points because they've passed twice. So um, should I open up the bidding again or should I not is the question. I mean, overall, we have the major suits. Pushing them up one level higher doesn't necessarily hurt us. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we need to be afraid of... West's hand going too far because if they go too far we could just have winning tricks so let's bid two hearts they're bidding three clubs and uh we're just going to get out of this get out of this interesting how West comes in later as opposed to immediately um, and it's saying 12 10 plus high carb points which is just odd so I'm not sure but it looks like uh we're we're kind of major centric here um, partner probably has almost nothing. So it's like, do I want to be leading diamonds? I don't know. This is tough because it looks like uh, the fact that East has four clubs. It's only showing four clubs. Odd. It's very odd. This whole thing feels quite odd. But I, I know that partner has probably some number in each of these suits. I don't know. I kind of just want to lead a diamond. Because Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts could open up cross roughing abilities. It looks like it's a double fit, so we might not. We might just need to cash out our tricks, which is which would be sad. That would be very very sad. So let's start with the Ace of Hearts. Yeah, there's Queen Third here, which is kind of what I expected. Um, one thing that we certainly should be doing here is I think uh, we could potentially be getting Partner a Rough if they have Doubleton Spades. So I think we should do. Um, I think we're gonna do Ace of Spades. And this also knocks out an entry for them to be setting up their diamond suit. So we're going to go ace of spades, low spade. That goes around to the jack. Partner almost certainly has doubleton. And if not, then the king of spades. Yeah, it's just odd that they ran it around to the 10 if they didn't have doubleton. So I'm thinking that partner probably has uh, another, only has doubleton spade. Uh, and they would have three spades and they would support me over two diamonds if they had six or six or fewer high card points. I mean, it does look like they probably do have six or fewer high card points, though. But just running it around to the jack feels so risky. Hmm. Maybe they're just doing a really odd play for me, but I'm going to play another spade. I think this is giving partner a rough. Very good. Um, and now partner can, can uh, play hearts. And that can probably completely cut them off from the diamond suit as well. Well, that's not going to happen um, because they just have the diamonds. And hopefully, partner has some more clubs to be trumping in on the diamond suit so that it doesn't run. 
Okay, good. Good. And we just keep playing more spades. And hopefully they're just completely cut off. Wow, partner has a lot of clubs here. I'm confused, but this is... Uh, okay. Partner had six clubs. I have no clue why this auction happened, how we ended in three clubs, but it certainly should be a good board, I'd imagine. Um, <laughs> very odd. But I think the key there was cutting them, com like completely cutting them off from the diamond suit. But I mean, then again, there isn't much key when partners got six of their trumps. So I'm not, this is just a very, very odd scenario. I'm glad that we ended up in uh, three clubs. I'm glad we ended up in three clubs. So uh, next board, next board we go. Here we are. We have 18 high card points. We've got uh, a six card diamond suit. We're going to open one diamond. Uh, partner is inviting us in clubs, which is not our favorite thing because that's our shortness. But we have stoppers everywhere. Partner's got stoppers and clubs. We could be sitting up on our diamond suit. I think three no trump is a great bid to be making. The question, though, however, is could we be making six no trump? And this is Blackwood for clubs, which is not something we want to be doing right now. But it just feels like three no is kind of an underbid for my hand, especially opposite partner who... Well, actually, they only have 9 to 11 high card points. It's solely an invite. So maybe it's just right to bid 3 no. I think 3 no is where we're supposed to be here. Yep, that feels right to me. We can put in the Jack of Hearts here. And we're going to play the 10 of clubs and we're going to overtake with the jack because we need to maintain entries to this club suit um, and then if, if things fall king doubleton then we're happy but that's not the case we had seven between both of us that means that the opponents had six which means that west has three clubs remaining which means that playing the queen of clubs only sets up one additional club that is what we need to make our contract but we don't have enough entries. And then the how many tricks do we have right now? We could take one, two, three, four. Ooh, this is looking scary now because they can set up their heart suit probably. Should I be set working on setting up the diamond suit now is the question? Because getting one more club is not going to be enough. But we could be blocking the heart suit. It feels like West probably has hearts and clubs and then East has diamonds and spades. I don't know, playing a diamond up feels like it just could be right here. I mean, we need to knock out two, but at least we have the entries. We need to knock out two honors. At least we have the entries for that to work. It's just, are they going to be able to set up the hearts before we can? Or maybe maybe they aren't going to have enough cashing hearts to set us, uh, but they could have enough cashing hearts and now the uh, king of clubs as well. <sighs> okay, we'll, we'll play a diamond because this just feels right. Um, I think we'll, we'll go with the nine. Okay, that's a good start. So now we only need one more trick. Okay, so we're going to play diamond pitching a club. Diamond pitching a club. We're, and we're going, and when they return hearts, we're going to duck a heart. So our goal here is we're going to try to lose two diamonds and at worst two hearts. Right? So I think, I think we've got this pretty much on lockdown. So we're going to play the king of diamonds. Okay, kind of expected this to happen. We can pitch a club. And as long as West didn't lead from Doubleton Heart, like if they led from Heart 3rd or Heart 4th, ducking this Heart is going to have us make the contract. Okay, I think I see something fun here. I think... Okay, so if I play another diamond, East gets a diamond and two more heart tricks. But I can actually end play West because they're, they're out of diamonds and they're out of hearts. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I saw this. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a club trick. Okay, we're going to set up a club trick. West is out of hearts and they're out of diamonds. 
right? So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Ace of Spades, and then we're going to play another spade, but we're blocking the spade suit, all right? This is on purpose. This is on purpose because we need to set up two more tricks. What we can do here is we can play the Queen of Clubs, setting up our Nine of Clubs. We're going to pitch away the King of Spades, unblocking the spade suit, and that is our last trick that we need. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god. If they duck, then we are we win our jack of spades. If if they have taken it, then they have to lead back a spade, and then our nine of clubs is good. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And we make our we make our contract. Amazing. Amazing. I'm very happy about that. Except we can make with an over trick. Oh well. Probably working on diamonds first would get us that over trick. Um, just because there is no entry problem. Like we take, we take the club finesse, we don't play the ace of clubs, and then we immediately start working on diamonds. Which who knows, maybe that is the better play? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm happy I found that play to make the contract. All right, so now board number three, we're going to open one club and then it goes two no trump balanced invite. We're going to, I mean, we hate playing in two no. Two no is not a pleasant contract to be in. Uh, we have no point. We don't have the points for game. Partner is denying a four card major. So our, our major suits are probably going to be in the hole. But like if we have five club tricks, like if partner just has the king of clubs here and then whatever else they have, we're going to get very likely, very likely we're going to get four club tricks, uh, I mean five club tricks, and um, a diamond for certain, and we would just need uh, three more from partner, which, eh, I don't know. I just feel like three no here, like, as opposed to being, you know, two no is just a bad contract. We don't like two no. Two no is not fun. But should I? I mean, we've got two pretty good scores so far. Right? Two pretty good scores so far. So I think maybe we should just settle for two no. Because that's overall the right thing. Do what everyone else is going to do and play just as well as them. Or better. Now I'm regretting not going to three no because this doesn't look too bad. I mean, we're just going to take that spade. We're going to take this club finesse. Okay, well that doesn't work. Maybe, maybe we're in the right spot. We could be. Are going to return another spade? Okay, and then if the club split poorly, do they? They do. But is it enough? Is it enough for us to go down? Yeah, they just have no way in. We just have too many tricks. And then depending on how everything splits here, I haven't really been paying attention. Well, maybe we don't have too many tricks, don't we? We need, we would need one more. So this heart finesse would have to be on side. And it feels pretty safe. Didn't West follow to three spades? I think taking this heart finesse is safe. So we are in the right spot. Okay. Cool. Great. Um, feels good, but it's saying we can make an over trick. Let, okay, I, I need to look at this again. They start with a spade. Oh, it's dropping the king. It's dropping the king of clubs singleton. That's what it is. I don't know. Is that the right play? It might actually be. Actually, I think playing the Ace of Clubs here is right. I didn't think about that enough, because if if it's King Singleton offside, right, this is what it picks up. But if you play the Queen of Clubs here, any time that the King is third, you're always still going to be losing the King of Clubs. So the t only time that playing the Queen of Clubs here works is if it's King Doubleton onside. I think the Ace of Clubs here is technically the correct play. Um, so I should have found that. I should have found that. Whoops. All right. Let's head back. That's... I don't know. It's just 
first intuition, take finesse, right? First intuition, take finesse. But when you actually start thinking about how things split and how that affects things and like how many, like depending on how things split, how many can you potentially pick up and what's the right play? Overall, the percentage is probably saying play the ace of clubs. Um, so yeah, I should, I should have played the ace of clubs based off of that. I should know better instead of going, ooh, finesse, take finesse, take finesse. So yeah, on board four now, we have uh, about 14 high card points. What is it? Yeah, 14 high card points. Partner's open, so we're going to bid one heart. Partner bids one no trump, and we're going to bid three no trump. Seems pretty simple to me. We love three no trump. Three no trump is our contract. Um, so yeah, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, hopefully seven, eight tricks. Um, but this doesn't look pristine because of course they've got the running club suit on us um five six seven eight where's our last trick coming from is the question it could come from the queen of hearts falling right it could come from the queen of hearts falling it could come from the king of spades falling or if the king of spades is with east which normally with these leads that is not the case normally they're leading very very passively these robots so very likely west has the king of spades so if East had the Jack-10, though, if East had the Jack-10 of spades, would they lead the four? I think they would. I think they would. So there's a chance that the king could just pop out. King could just pop out at this trick um, if, if West doesn't have the Jack-10 of spades. I mean, one thing we could do is just, uh, you know, take the ace of spades... Uh, we can cash a heart, and then we can cash our diamonds, and then we exit clubs, right? If we just exit clubs, they cash a bunch of clubs and maybe a spade. But are they going to... Like, the whole thing is, is that on initially leading a spade, are they going to know not to pitch clubs? Maybe we just play out the diamond suit and see what they pitch, and then we make our plays from there. That could just be a plan. Um, but yeah, I want to maintain this queen of spades as kind of like a barrier, because if I play the queen of spades now and it's wrong, it's very, very committal. So I'm going to uh, play low. Yes! <laughs> Big! All right, there's our... We were worried, right? And now that is our trick right there. That's the trick that we need. <laughs> so now we're just going to bash down the diamond suit, see what they pitch, and based off of what they pitch, we can make our plays. Okay. Club pitch, right? Club pitch is what we like to see. Two club pitches, okay? Another club pitch and a heart pitch, right? Okay. Another diamond. Another club pitch and another club pitch. So now we know it is safe to exit the clubs um, because it's very unlikely. We've seen like five club pitches or something. We have two, they have nine, they only have four, so the worst it could go is uh, they take four club tricks on us. So let's exit a club and see if we can get an extra trick via end play or something. Yeah, I think we're going to exit a club and see what happens. If they return a spade, then we're just going to... Then, then we can rely on the heart falling, double, the heart queen falling doubleton. So let's exit a club and see what happens. Question is, what are we going to be pitching on clubs? Well, we can pitch a heart... All right, and there's going to be one more heart from East. Uh, this just didn't help at all. We're just going to pitch a spade and uh, rely on the heart falling or something. Who had the spade king in the end? Did East have the spade king in the end? The heart could still be falling. Yes! Over trick! Over trick! They thought they had to keep the king of spades. Wow. Wow. They, oh my gosh, guys, y'all, look at this. They, they led the four of spades from Jack-10-4. Like, at least lead the Jack. Come on, come on. I made an over trick when I probably should not be making an over trick. So we've got some good boards here, y'all. We have, we're probably in contention for potentially winning this thing. So let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. All right, so we have a 12 high card point hand. It goes, we, we have a one spade opener, and they're doubling and then bidding three clubs. 
I'm like, should I sacrifice? Should I be crazy? I think it could be crazy, y'all. I think this is fine. I mean, this is best hand, right? This is best hand. I have 12, right? I have 12. So the opponents at most have 12 between each other. East certainly doesn't have 12 because they didn't open. So East at most has 11. And if West has 12, right? 12 plus 12 plus 11 means at minimum partner must have five high card points. That's what I've calculated. Partner must have five high card points or else. Or else. So I think that bidding like off of the basis here that I have this extremely distributional hand, I only, I'm probably going to lose one spade and then the rest are good tricks here. Three spades is obstructive and they might get too high or we could just be making three spades. But if I get three spades doubled down one, that wouldn't be fun either. But their suit is clubs. I mean, the other thing is, is that the position of my honors are not great. Well, partner has to have something, right? We could just hope that they don't have anything in clubs. If they got something in clubs, I'm going to be sad. I want to bid. I really want to bid three spades. I really want to bid three spades. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm bidding three spades. Push them up. Partner bids four spades. They bid five clubs. They bid five clubs. Okay, this is, regardless, this is going to be good. Oh, partner's doubling. Whoo, boy. Let's see how this goes. We're going to lead the king of spades first. Can we get spade tricks? Okay, we got two tricks. We need we need one more trick. Well, that's the problem is that partner probably has almost like no points after this anymore. Ah, uh, how many did I have? I had seven, seven two two two. If I lead a spade here, partner's trumping. I don't want to lead anything else because the diamond suit is frozen. And I don't want to give them an extra heart finesse. I'm almost guaranteed a heart trick as long as East has three hearts and they can't pitch it away. Um, if I lead another spade and then they play the jack of clubs and partner doesn't have a club above that, however, and this could effectively just be a club finesse for them. Oh gosh, there's a lot going on right here. There's a lot going on right here. If they have doubleton spade, like let's say they have six clubs, right? That means that partner has four clubs. Like, are they going to be guessing me for the diamond? They're probably going to be guessing me for both the diamond and the heart. What is the safest play here? Nothing feels safe. I think heart overall might be the safest because they might just have doubleton heart. They might just have doubleton heart and it knocks out one entry for them to get to the club suit to finesse it multiple times. So let's, let's play the nine of hearts. There it is. It's down. It's down. Partner had enough tricks. And now they're drawing their trump. And I just pitch a bunch of spades. The queen falls. Diamond. They can play to the 10. Right? Ace of hearts. And then if they have another heart, which they almost certainly don't have another heart. Um, diamond and the heart's good. Right? And partner have another heart? Oh, they trump it anyway. Okay. So partner did have quite a few points there. Um, good double by partner. I was nervous for a second there that there was like, if partner had nothing, there was no safe return. Uh, but in the end, we found the safest one, which was a heart. Okay, cool. Board number six. This is, a, this is looking like a great scorecard. Only thing here that doesn't feel great is board three. And we know why. But the rest of this, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right. So we have a total of uh, 13 high card points. They've bid one club. We don't necessarily have a bid, so we have to pass. Um, and the only thing I can do now is like three clubs if I wanted to. But do I want to? I don't think so. I don't necessarily want a club lead. I don't think three clubs can make. It might be better than two hearts making, but they could be doubling us, just coming out of nowhere. So I'm just, I'm just like, leave them there. Leave them guessing as to the position of the cards. Okay, so we're going to encourage. Uh, sorry, I normally play upside down. There's no encouraging with the robots. There's no encouraging or discouraging. Uh, they have a 
Okay, they could still have a very just basic fit. I'm going to play another spade and maybe we can get a spade rough. Is that possible? The other thing that we might be considering is do we want to play clubs back? I think we might want to play clubs back. I think uh, the diamond trick is almost certainly, well, maybe it is going away. I mean, let's just do the club first. I don't think the diamond is going to be going away immediately. Is it going to be going away immediately though? Like what if they just draw another trump, they play two spades pitching, but then they would have to have a singleton diamond in hand and a singleton and a doubleton spade in hand. Eh. I don't know. I don't think that the diamond is immediately, I don't think the diamond is going away. We should just play a club. Okay, they have five hearts. Partner has the Jack of Diamonds, so now we're just gonna keep going on the clubs. Yeah. Then uh, they're going to trump this last one. So they missed game and we didn't push them up. So I think that this is uh, this is good. This is fine. Uh, we didn't have to sack in five clubs and get doubled and go down. We would lose two hearts. We would lose a spade. We would lose a diamond and we lose a club. So I think that this is like an optimal score. Uh, there's no way to defend better. So um, good stuff. Now we have a... Uh, 11 high card point in hand, but it's got a gorgeous diamond suit. We're going to open one diamond. Partner's bidding one heart, and I'm going to just bid two diamonds. Two diamonds. Partner bids two no trump. Balanced invite. Is my diamond suit enough to carry us to three no trump? Like, we get six diamond tricks. Is partner's... Is partner going hand going to be enough to get three tricks? Are we not going to be losing stuff immediately off the top? <sighs> It's just like with a running six card diamond suit, you kind of gotta try for it, you know? It might not be running as the whole thing, you know? Partner could have singleton diamond and uh, it doesn't split three, three, right? So the diamond suit might not necessarily be running, but if it's running, then we probably make three no. If it's not running, then we probably don't make three no. Uh, and we probably don't even make two no. So I'm, I'm just based off of this length here, I think I'm going to bid 3-0 no and, uh, you know, YOLO 3-0. No. Oh boy, this is interesting. They're leading a diamond, which is such an odd lead under the context of this auction. Uh, it has to be kind of like pos a passive lead. Like, they're, they're not going to be leading from Jack 4th here. It's a shame that we have 8 tricks off the top here, because 2-0 no is just making. So I think we're just going to play the uh, Queen. We're going to see how the diamonds work. If they work, then great. If they don't work, then not great. It was Jack 4. It was Jack 4. Sneaky, sneaky little buggers. <laughs> well, there's no way to rectify this now. Uh, the only way to do it is if the, we exit a diamond and then they return a heart. If they return... Sorry, yeah, if they return a heart, which they're not going to do. So let's just cash out... This is life. This is going to be our bad board. Um, but there's nothing we could do about it now. But yeah, they are not going to screw the rest of this up. If they did, I would be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, they've got another club. Well, running it around at the 10. It was, a, it was an option. Um, the lead itself gave it away, but uh, I just think it's too risky to do that, especially when the robots have a tendency for passive leads, and maybe Jack 4th is a passive enough lead for them. Splits 3-3, three, three, it works. If it splits 4-2, it doesn't. That's just what I went for. All right. So it's gone one heart, two hearts, and now we have this hand. Um, we have a total of, what, six, 
15 high card points. I just feel like bidding four spades. If I just bid four spades, it has a chance at making, and it's got preemptive value. We don't know. Four hearts could easily be making here if West has a big hand, right? So I think I'm just going to bid four spades, and uh, that's where it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Okay. We're in a great spot. This is beautiful. Uh, very likely, we're going to just be... Uh, we're going to be roughing diamonds. Oh... But, but, we do need to guess hearts here, almost certainly. And surely we're going to get at least one heart guess, right? Um, the thing is that we can't rough enough diamonds unless the person who we throw in doesn't have another spade. We need to, we need to do something with the hearts um, because we need to get at least like one diamond pitch because we don't have a clear way to get back to our hand unless like we play a club and they can't play another spade we play club ace of diamonds trump diamond club rough trump diamond club rough um but i feel like it's much more likely that you know like a heart honor is going to be on side and we're able to prevent a loser that way um and we could lose one heart um one club and one diamond, and we'll just be happy. One of these honors has to be with, with West. Like, seriously. Okay. And now they're going to return a spade? Well, they didn't. Well, now we just make more tricks. All right, uh, we'll play with the jack just to be safe, and uh, we cash out. All right, show me the good news, please. What is the provisional? This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Watch it be like 20%. No, it's never going to be 20%, but here we go. Here we go. Provisionals say 65. The two hearts plus two is not good. And the three no minus one. Yeah, we knew this wasn't going to be good. But the rest of this is golden. The rest of this is beautiful. Making this three no was big. Being in this two no. But we, we could have made more over tricks. Uh, three no plus one here. Just just get, getting the robots to screw up here was huge for the 100%. The fact that we made an over trick there is insane. And then board eight where they gave us this over trick um, as well was, was huge. So um, big results. Hopefully, uh, they they stay strong, and we're going to be in a contending position here to be probably not first, but maybe more like second, third, fourth, or fifth. So, um, fingers crossed. It was some good bridge today. I found some fun plays, and the fact that they were in four clubs down, three clubs down four is sickening. The five clubs doubled down one. I'm surprised how replicated that was. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, see you when the results actually come out. Okay everyone results are in it is time let us see how did we do boom 67 it went up by two percent big 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 love that love that sixth place out of 80 all right feeling pretty good but like that's a lot of high scores let's be honest here i was thinking like we'd be in the top five but we were actually only in the top six. I don't know. Why am I complaining? But holy cow, uh, big score. Biggest score I've had in a little bit. And there was 80 people. So, you know, that's that's tough competition. So um, let's give congrats to the winners. First off, we give congrats to Light19, who actually happens to be my partner. He was on an It's Your Call, um, Isaac. So well done, Isaac, with a 76.93%. Ho. Oh. Wow. Big. That is that's my partner there. That's my partner. Look at us. We're we're number 1 and number 6. Proud of us. We're so good. But uh Ahail coming up in second, very very close with a 76.66. It was um 33 hundredths off from uh first place and then Yi Feifei was um 
got a 73.46 for third place. And then we also have to congratulate Assault One No Trump for getting a 71%. Look at that. The 70% club up here, uh, up in the beautiful, beautiful heights. So yeah, I'm actually kind of curious what's the lowest score like there's a lot of high scores up here what 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 did we see at the bottom here there was a 17.17 percent wow that's brutal uh but yeah sorry my curiosity in intrigued me if there's high scores like that i'm curious what the low scores are going to be like a lot of high scores like we've got 18 people in the 60s that's pretty crazy all right so, um, yeah, that concludes this episode, everyone. Uh, we got we got sixth place, y'all. Awesome. So if y'all enjoyed this episode of the CBO Daylong, please leave us a like and subscribe to the ACBL YouTube channel for more CBO Daylong content. We post every single Friday. I hope that everyone has a great week and I will see y'all later. Bye.